So as we are entering November, I will be going into my seventh month of my new lifestyle. Eating nothing but meat, eggs, and pretty much nothing else. Well, that's that's about it. Usually I wake up if I want breakfast, which I don't have every, not every day. I usually make either an omelet, and if I put anything on that omelet, it's just a little bit of cheddar cheese. Perfectly fine. And that's it. I'll eat about five eggs, whether it's fried or... I, I, here's one thing I've learned. Well, let me go through what I eat. So that's... And then I'll fry up some bacon. Usually, I'm pretty boring. I have become pretty boring with what I eat. And I'm okay with that. That's the odd thing about it. You get used to eating just a very slim pickings of, and there are a wide variety of meats you can eat. I just tend to stick to the same things. Chicken, maybe once a week. I'll have pork ribs once a week. And the rest of the time, ribeyes and hamburger. And I started upping my game with the hamburger because I, I reached a point where I was no longer losing it and this is with any diet or, you know, you reach a point where, okay, your body thinks it's where it should be, but you still have fat to lose. And your body is starting to slow down with the burning of the, you know, with, with, of the, I guess of the fat. So if you up the fat and give it a little extra, then, it, then you're still losing. And, I, and I've done that the last two weeks, and I started losing again. I was stuck in the 230s forever. And just yesterday, I hit the 220s. It was 228 this morning. And I mean, I've been in the 30s forever, and the 40s took a while. Now, we're in seven, but, you know, I'm 300 pounds to start with, 296. Uh, there was, I had never, at least the times I've weighed myself, have never went over 300. But I was there. I mean, I was within a pound of 300. And now, I've lost 76 pounds. And so I'm getting to the point where I have to start exercising. I have to start working out because I got to do something with this flab. You know, the skin, I wasn't so overweight that I'm going to have excess skin. That's, you know, I've never let myself get that big. And... You know, just if I didn't exercise at all, I would probably lose every bit of this within the next five, six months. But I want to speed it along. I want to, I want to add some muscle. Uh, at my age, almost 60, you could still do that. You know, there's guys walking around 70 years old that are buff. I'm not looking for any of that. I just want to be fit and stronger. And you got to do something with all the protein that you're consuming if you're doing carnivore. And I try to stay busy. I've been, you know, I have noticed I've got so much more energy to work. I don't procrastinate like I used to. Uh, and I've also upped, upped my vitamin D intake. I more than tripled it. I've, I've researched that. That is a big part of being lethargic, uh, being tired. You're not getting enough vitamin D. Well, I already knew that from getting blood work done. And I'd been taking vitamin D, but I've tripled the dose I take. I take 15,000 units a day. And I have noticed a huge change. Uh, but as far as eating goes, after you're doing this a while, you, you lose that mentality that every meal has to be gourmet that every meal has to be super tasty it doesn't and you would think you would get tired of steak hamburger eggs i actually love eggs more now than i ever have i love i mean the flavor now is so much better i don't know why and i'm you know i just put a little bit of butter in a pan if i'm making fried eggs that's it Salt and pepper. Nothing else. Now, my meat, I am guilty of using sauces, but I use the sugar-free 
Uh, yeah, I, Dr. Ken, what's his name? <laughs> he, he, I think he's seen one of my videos. In fact, I know he did <clears throat> because he showed the exact sauces that I was talking about in one of my videos. And he was saying, no, if you're going to do this, don't even do it. Well, hey, I've already lost 76 pounds. So, and when I do use the sauce, I just put a little bit on the plate and dip it in there. That's it, man. And I've got more butter on the plate than I got sauce. It's sugar-free. Yeah, it's got some stuff in it, bro, you know. But we going to do? Huh? We going to do? I got to have it. But I haven't had any. I ran out of ketchup a week ago. I keep forgetting. It's one of them items. You're in the store. And you get everything else, and you and you know you need it. I dealt with this with the liquid liquid smoke, man. Yeah, let's not talk about the liquid smoke ordeal. ordeal. What, like four weeks in a row? I forgot to buy more. Now I got two of them. That's how you do that. Anything you forget, you just get a bunch of. So, if you stick with this long enough. You lose that desire to have the best tasting foods. You know, it's just not important to you anymore because you're feeling great and you're appreciative of what it's doing to your body. Yes, I still have my back pains, my knee pains, my feet. Uh, that was all caused by a life, a life of hard labor. And those things are not going to go away, but what does go away is the inflammation. And by losing the weight, it don't, it's not as bad because I'm not packing around an extra 76 pounds. So it's easier on the back. It's easier on the joints. I can work better. I can work harder now, but I still have my limits. Uh, I don't have... You know, I can only work four or five hours. I really pushed it today. I worked about seven hours, and I feel it in my lower back. But there's no more inflammation, you know. And I'm doing this in front of you guys on my other channel. I'm doing videos, and I have been doing videos ever since I started. And if you can't see the difference, get some glasses. Because I look, and I'm, I'm, I used to hate when I saw myself on video and I turned around and, my, and I could see fat bulges in my back. And I pretty much got rid of all of that now. My posture is better. And when I turn to my side, I don't see that big old belly anymore. And I've, you know, it's hard for you to notice it yourself. But I, I notice it because, you know, all I got to do is go back and look at a video from a year ago. The difference is amazing. And I am going to stick with it. I have no interest in, you know, I may add some vegetables. I don't know. My mind is just set that I'm content with what I'm eating. I don't need to change it up. It isn't any more expensive. If anything, it's cheaper. Because I'm not going in the store every other day buying $60 worth of ingredients for one meal to eat. You know, and I always made a lot. So I'd eat it maybe two nights in a row and I'm burnt out on it. I'd freeze the rest, throw it in the freezer, and never eat it again. And then I'd go to clean the freezer out and throw it away. So I'm not wasting food like I used to. I'm not giving that food to my dogs. They are actually now, for the three weeks now, I've had them on nothing but carnivore. And I, am, I, I can tell Lily is uh, losing weight. She's very overweight, but I can tell. And it's... I just put a little bit of, because I'm trying to get rid of this bag of dry food. Don't want to waste it. I could give some to the chickens. Chickens love that dog food. But they they won't touch the dry. You know, the two outside will. They're hogs. But they're running, man. They, they don't have weight issues. They're out. They're active. Lily is old. She can't be as active. And it was my fault. And I only wish I could have had Waldo on this years ago he might still be here i don't think i had anything to do with why he died but it, you know it was a respiratory infection he got but maybe it would have made him a little bit more healthy but 13 years old for a beagle is there's that's you know that's not unheard of they don't live a whole lot longer than that 
15 years at the most. And there's cases, there's always cases where a certain breed will live a lot longer. Those people are doing something right, apparently. But I have, I have uh, uh, had a lot of dogs here, a lot of them. A lot of them I've taken in, they were already older. And, but a lot of, most of them, when they were, I've had them since they were young. I've had Lily since she was eight weeks old. But they're not eating, and, and Rooster is so picky. She'll eat chicken. She won't eat the hamburger meat. She, she will, she'll eat the livers. I guess that's what she's going to get now. Uh, I have to find, she does like, I think I'm going to get some ground turkey, which I do put in their food, but I'm going to just separate some of that for her, see if she'll eat that. But she's got to have enough to, you know, she's never ate, but every other day. That's just how she is. But if you have been inspired by my carnivore journey, and I know that I just heard from a lady yesterday that they've lost 60 pounds, 60 pounds and started it because they seen me start it. That is awesome to hear. Hey, why not try it for 30 days? If you know, I will guarantee you it works. Nothing else worked for me. Nothing else really works for anyone else. You, you don't need to take a pill to lose weight because you're only fooling yourself. This actually works and you can still enjoy good meals and eat as much as you want, but you're going to find you don't, you don't eat that much. You really won't because you're not hungry anymore. So if anybody has any questions, you know, I'll try to answer them, but I try to do these carnivores, uh, podcasts once in a while because some people, uh, that's why they subscribe to me. So, but it's good information. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. Hey, go be sure to check out my Washita mountain video, mountain living video. I worked hard today. Happy trails.